If ancient astronauts did land here, what effect would they have had upon early Earthmen? Perhaps they were worshipped, feared, loved. Perhaps they brought gifts, a new world of knowledge. If we accept the premise that beings from another civilization visited here ages ago, then some of the mysteries of our past take on a new and startling light. The world is a storehouse, an archive of unexplained phenomena. Gigantic creations, an effigy of what? To appease or acclaim whom? Early stone carvers left silent records for their descendants. Folk legend surrounds their origin. Strange stories of gods who appeared riding across the skies in flaming chariots of light. Whole civilizations were structured around these gods. Civilizations which at one time flourished and then mysteriously disappeared. Only stone relics survive to give mute testimony to their time. Their true history has been the cause of much scientific inquiry and romantic speculation. Teotihuacan lies on a broad, flat plain curtained by mountains in central Mexico. It was once the center of the highly advanced Aztec Empire. When the Spaniards arrived in the early 16th century, they found an established society of artisans and intellectuals. The name Teotihuacan means where the gods reside. And the city of the gods is dominated by the Pyramid of the Sun. It is 216 feet high and forms a small mountain weighing two and a half million tons. Archaeology seeks answers to questions about man's past by digging through what he has left behind. Here they uncovered a chain of riddles which stretches across the expanse of modern Mexico. A mile to the south is the temple of Quetzalcoatl. Legend tells us that he was a light-skinned, bearded man who came from the stars. Supposedly, he taught men law, the arts, and the cultivation of corn. The head of a great feathered serpent represents the god Quetzalcoatl. When Quetzalcoatl finished his mission on Earth, he departed to his native star, promising to come back someday. It is a pervasive part of mythology that gods fly to the stars with a pledge to return. The strain runs through all folklore. Outstanding astronomers, Mayans calendared the year by constructing a central pyramid with 365 steps. They also developed a formula to predict eclipses without ever knowing about the revolution of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. There is no way of telling how they discovered these secrets. Some ancient astronaut may have told them of the solar system in which they lived. A stone relief portrays a god in a helmet with projections resembling antennae. The Mayans named their patron Kuku Khan. In every 6,000 years, the Mayan calendar is off by only one day. Such was the gift of Kuku Khan. Kuku Khan supposedly came from the stars and returned to them, leaving the Mayans to build observatories to search the heavens for him.